do we connect the Soviet Union, paper, rubber boots, electric cables, mobile phones, and EDSA DOS? During the time of Napoleon in the early 1800s, the Soviet Empire, later known as the Soviet Union, annexed a small country which was then called the Grand Duchy of Finland. In 1865, a mining engineer named Frederick Idestam put up a ground wood pulp mill near the Tamarkoski Rapids. Three years later, he put up a second mill a few miles away near the Nokian Virta River. Another three years later, they converted it into a share company, naming it after the town, and thus was born. Nokia Ab. In 1902, with hydropower from Nokian Virta, they added power generation to their business. Soon after that, they absorbed Finnish rubber works which made galoshes and started using the brand Nokia for their products. Their biggest client was, of course, the Soviet Army. In 1922, Finnish rubber works acquired Finnish cable works, which made telephone, telegraph, and electrical cables. After World War II, they also supplied the Soviet Union as part of war reparations. In 1967, the three companies were merged into Nokia Corporation and started producing their first telecommunications devices. In 1979, they merged with another company and started making mobile phones. From 1982 to 1987, their phones went down in weight from 22 pounds to one and a quarter pounds and became very popular, more so after Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev was photographed using one in 1987. As one of the key developers of GSM 2G technology, Nokia was a leader in the cell phone boom of the early 1990s, rising as much as to 35% of the world market. And of course, one of their favorite testing grounds was the Philippines, as Pinoy's showed the world how user-friendly the phones were. The country was soon acknowledged as the texting capital of the world even after mobile providers started charging for the SMS service. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. This changed Philippine history in more ways than one. In fact, texting, in large part thanks to Nokia, was considered one of the primary reasons for the speed of mobilization that led to the ouster of President Erap Estrada in what is known as EDSA DOS. After falling behind with the birth of touchscreen technology, Nokia was bought by Microsoft in 2011. And that's Flip Flam, where we connect the dots from every when and everywhere and bring it home to the Philippines. I'm Bill Velasco.